guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna do a video on nope don't want to see that what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ariel if you didn't know I actually have I actually have like a problem in my life right now and I figured why not record my issue because I was gonna do it anyway so I'm like this would be a cool video you know maybe other people have this problem who knows but my issue right now is that I have two foundations. It's my NARS All Day Luminous that I did put into my um, foundation routine video, the flawless foundation video. Uh, and then I also have my Fenty Beauty foundation. So I purchased Fenty Beauty when it just came out and that was my everyday foundation. It was amazing. I loved it so so much. I got compliments all the time and then it ran out. And obviously I didn't realize it. I actually bought it the day it came out and so I never had to repurchase it until now. And then I went into, every time I walk into Sephora, it's completely sold out. I can't find my shade. And then on top of that, the shade that I did have doesn't actually match my face anymore. So that would have been like my summer shade and apparently I got super, super pale and it doesn't match. So I need a new shade. It was originally $3.90, which... I feel like it sounds super dark, but it was actually my shade, and I feel like people are super surprised. But I swear my shade didn't look weird. Like, I actually was that color. Once that finished, I really, like, coming down to the end of it, like, when winter started to really hit, it started to look super orange on me, and I was like, mm, this ain't cute anymore. So clearly, I need a new shade. I would go to Sephora, and then I would never try the shades that they didn't have in stock, because I'm like, I'm not gonna find a shade and then love it and then not be able to get it. I mean, I could have just ordered it online. I don't know why I didn't think of that. So whatever, so I eventually went to Sephora and I, I needed a foundation because I was going away for the weekend. So I bought the NARS All Day Luminous in Syracuse, which was my shade like two years ago. So it ended up working fine. But once I put it on, it like, it felt different and I didn't like the way it looked anymore. And I still felt, by the way, this is $70 and then this is 40. So I was like, if, oh, this is 40. So I was like, if I can figure out how to get this again, and return this then life would be great but then I got this and then I thought it looked really really nice and then my boyfriend is like the best at talking about like at like telling if my foundation works or doesn't work and I think he saw me and he was like eh and I was like ooh seventy dollars isn't worth it uh, every time I go back into Sephora I look for the Fenty Beauty in like whatever shade they had on uh, what's it called display like as their tester but they never had the shades as testers so I went in this weekend and I found it and then 310 is now my new shade so I haven't tried it since uh, I tried it at Sephora so I'm gonna try it now and see if it really works and if not I'm either gonna end up with one foundation or no foundations so if you want to see what foundation I end up loving then keep watching okay guys so I have both my foundations here so I have my Fenty Beauty Foundation and then I have my NARS um, All Day Luminous Foundation. So I'm going to put one on one side and one on the other side and then I'm going to kind of compare and see what I like more about one than the other. It's not going to be like one of those videos where um, you kind of wear it all day and then compare it that way just because I, I have worn both of them before so I don't really need to know what it wears like throughout the day because I kind of already know so this is like legit straight off the box okay so I'm gonna start with a primer so I'm gonna make sure I prime both sides the same so it's gonna be the Smashbox photo finish radiance primer so if you saw like my last video I just started really using this primer and it's so nice I really like it I'm kind of like everything radiant these days I guess it's just because my skin's so dry but I just feel like everything radiant is really helping. I even have like the Tarte um, Brighter Days moisturizer on too, so that's like extra brightness. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply this all over my face. So I already moisturized, like I said, and I use the Tarte Brighter Days moisturizer because it's really radiant and that's what I'm going for. And then because I already kind of used this as a radiant primer, I thought that would be a nice add-on. But I don't know, we'll see how that looks. Maybe it might just look super sparkly. That's what happened. I wore it to like, I wore that <laughs> moisturizer to a cottage, not knowing that it was that sparkly. Like I just didn't like take it in like how sparkly it actually was. And I walked out, I took a shower and then I put it on and then I walked out and everyone was like, you're like sparkling. And I was like, what? And they're like, no, like did you, they, they literally asked me if I put highlighter all over my face. Like I was like literally shining like crazy. It was the funniest thing. I don't think I ever used it again after that, but 
use it today. If your skin doesn't feel like wet or like oily or hydrated, like overly hydrated, it feels normal. So hopefully that's good because then normal with foundation, I'll just see what it really looks like. I'll start with the Fenty. Okay, so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender because I just normally like to apply my foundation with a beauty blender anyway. So I feel like that's gonna be not an, that's not gonna be an issue. I have issues with actually both these foundations. Like I said, I've used them previously, but um, I just kind of want to see which one I like more. But my issue with the Fenty uh, foundation before was that it like it used to like break apart or it just it come out like like blotchy or something it just didn't look good so I didn't end up I didn't actually cover my scars for this video just because I know that the foundation is not going to end up covering it completely but I do want to see how well each foundation covers because I don't actually remember that I don't think the NARS covers as well but we'll see put one pump so that should cover the entire half of my face see this just feels so nice the color looks good too I could be wrong but so far I think it looks really good Make sure I apply it properly because I want to get like a fair test happening, you know? I don't want to just do it and then it sucks just due to my application. And then I end up returning the wrong foundation. That would just suck. And then I'll never know because I returned it. Okay. I think that's good. Oh my god, look at that color difference. But I swear it matches. I just have, like, my forehead's just darker. But look, my neck matches. I feel like that did a pretty good job covering my scars, actually. I mean, you could obviously see it a little bit, but I still feel like that did a better job. I kind of feel like it's going to do a better job than NARS, but it's okay. We're going to try it and see. I still have the NARS in the box because I had a really good feeling I was going to return it. I just felt like... I don't know. I didn't have good feelings about it. I just felt like it was just not doing the right thing. Like, it was just doing its job properly. So I'm going to shake it up a bit because you got to shake this one. Okay, I did Okay, I did two pumps on the sand because I feel like the, those two pumps were little. I didn't show you the Fenty pumps, but I swear the Fenty pump was bigger. Okay, that's it. The NARS is done. That's, that's the end of my pump. There's like nothing left on my hand. Ugh, I gotta put another pump. Okay, I'm bringing two more. Okay, I should put three. I'm gonna put three. Oh, now I feel like I did too much. This one feels thicker. Like, it definitely feels thicker. It feels like... I feel like as I put more, or like, as I apply it, it almost goes on like a mask. If that makes sense. But I lied, though. I think it covers my scars more than the Fenty. Oh, it's definitely off. Put, I didn't really cover under my eyes. I should cover under my eyes. I always feel weird about putting foundation down there. I feel like I have to put concealer. But that's another thing too. It really depends on how my how it sits under my concealer. So maybe I should just put my concealer, like the one that I'm gonna wear anyways. Let me do that. You already know my shape tape.
Okay, so now I look covered completely. I'm not going to set it with powder, or maybe I should set it under my eyes. Okay, let's set it under my eyes. I had no preparation for this video. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't know. I've never done one of these. This is new. Get it. Just under my eye. I don't know. This is harder than I thought it was gonna be. I really thought I didn't like the NARS. Oh. I think we have an issue. Okay, I think we spotted our problem. So our problem, our the problem, is this is the NAR side. This is the Fenty side. Do we see that? Do we see that? Mm. That is not cool. We don't like that. We don't like that. That cracking? That's a no-no. That's a no-no. To be honest, I'm not even mad that it doesn't cover up all my scars because realistically, I'm going to cover my scars before I put my foundation on anyways, so it doesn't bother me. I really don't mind. And the fact that this, I can feel this so much more than I can feel this. Mm -mm. I think we know. I think we already know. We know. I'm not even trying to be biased right now. I really was trying to give it a fair shot. Oh my god, do you see that? Oh my god, you could see it. <gasps> don't even play right now. If you don't see this, something is so wrong. Do you see the forehead difference? Look at that. This is NARS. Look at my forehead. Look at it. <gasps> that is so ugly. Oh my god. Okay, we're done. My hair is so flat. Okay guys, that is it. I hope you figured out which foundation I ended up getting, or keeping at least. But if you didn't, I'll tell you anyways. The Fenty. So this was definitely a better choice for me personally. I don't know about anybody else. If they like NARS more than they like Fenty, maybe their skin's different. But for me, my skin is super dry. And I, once I saw those lines on my forehead, it was a no-no. I'm going to hold on to my Fenty. I'm going to return my NARS. And thank the Lord that problem is solved. Now I have a summer shade and a winter shade in Fenty. And I will never have a problem again. Hopefully. Please. That is the end of my video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with something new next time. Bye!